Until this day, um, the Scandinavian interior is a major trope in the uh, modern interior and still very influential and for many people an ideal actually of how they would like to uh, furnish their home. The success story of the Scandinavian interior beyond Scandinavia um, already started in the 1930s and 1940s. Um, in the exhibition we're showing the private home that the architect Finn Juel um, created for, for himself just outside of uh, Copenhagen. He designed the house and also created most of the furniture um, that he used in the house um, himself. Some of them um, created by um, uh, crafts makers, others really created by a furniture company in the US uh, that he worked for. He also used arts, artworks by uh, friends of his. And if one looks at the many photographs that were made of this house and published of this house, one can see how this interior changed again and again and how Finn Juel um, tested his own furniture in this home and uh, again changing them, uh, taking them out and juxtaposing them to other things differently and also uh, removing the artworks um, now and then. He himself said that at one point that his ideal would be to really have designed everything um, in his home um, from the furniture down to the cutlery and the tableware. And he also said that the surrounding landscape um, really influenced the shapes of his uh, furnishings and of course also the materiality of his furniture, which was mostly wood. And this made for a very humane um, interior and that's probably one of the reasons why these Scandinavian interiors are still so popular because they offer a modernism that is still warm and humane and not uh, cold and sterile.